the field behind me um, that you can see, maybe you're able to see that there are a few sunflowers uh, growing on this field. Um, but six years ago, in the year 2012, I remember, the whole field was full with sunflowers. Um, yeah, uh, they basically were uh, growing them here for, uh, I guess, uh, because they wanted to make uh, sun, uh, sunflower oil. Um, and yeah, um, I'm here again because today I want to show you um, how to make uh, um, an, a so-called a glue imprint of a leaf surface. Wow, that's a long, long one. Um, and what I want to do is I want to apply a little bit of glue. I got some uh, glue here uh, with me. And I want to apply this glue on the bottom side um, of uh, the leaf, of the sunflower leaf. Um, I'm going to allow it to dry there. And then I'm going to peel it off carefully when it's dry. Um, and then I'm going to put the, the glue under the microscope right? because the glue now carries the, um, the shape of the surface um, of the leaf. And uh, by doing that, what I hope to be able to see um, are the so-called uh, the, the stoma. And uh, they basically, these are openings in the bottom um, of the leaf uh, which allow for gas exchange. This means that uh, during photosynthesis, um, they, uh, during the day, uh, the, these uh, stoma are open and they allow oxygen gas to diffuse from the leaf out um, into the atmosphere and carbon dioxide can move in uh, because carbon dioxide gases that's needed uh, by the plant. And uh, during night uh, these stoma they close uh, because uh, this way they prevent uh, water loss. Okay and that's basically what I want to do and that's why I chose this sunflower here that you can see here. Um, does it have to be sunflowers? Of course not. Um, uh, so uh, pretty much uh, other leaves also, any other leaf also works. Just make sure that this, the surface um, of the leaf is sufficiently smooth um, so that uh, it's, uh, the glue does not, uh, can be removed easily. Uh, but uh, yeah, so the reason why I chose sunflowers is because I wanted to actually show you uh, the nice pictures of six years ago, which I still happen to have stored on my hard drive, where everything was covered uh, with sunflowers. Okay, so let's get started now. And let's apply a little bit of glue here. Well, it's uh, very thick, uh, so I'm going to simply cover it here. Um, I'm using white wood glue. Um, I also tried this with other types of, of glue, um, and this also works, uh, but uh, white wood glue it does have the advantage that it only uses water as a solvent and not some other organic substances which might harm the leaf. Yeah, and uh, yeah, let's, um, I'll just uh, leave it as it is. Um, and uh, maybe in a few hours I'm going to try to peel it off. I'd better remember the sunflower because there are several others also standing around. I'm not going to make it too thin because uh, as it dries it's going to uh, become thinner anyway. I think this is going to be enough now, okay? Um, yeah, and maybe in three or four hours I'll visit this place again and I hope that everything's uh, ready to be taken off. Yeah, and just to be on the safe side, I also um, applied some glue here. I'm also going to try this plant. And these here. Four hours have passed now and I've, I'm back at the sunflower and I cannot believe it what I see here. Um, look at this, i got to uh, turn this around just a second. Look, 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 look what happened to the flower here. It's, I don't know if somebody broke it or not. I'm going crazy. I mean, who's doing this? I mean, this is unbelievable. Well, in any case, uh, this is where the glue is. I mean, it's not completely dry yet, so, um, but I think it's really important that it is dry. Um, it's still white here, but you can see that the rest is, is transparent. So it, uh, it's almost uh, complete, uh, completely dried. So, but it, it does feel reasonably solid, um, so I might be able to peel it off. Again, the same problem as before. I actually need both hands to do this, but I also have to hold my camera. So I'm going to put the camera again on my knee and let's see if this works. Uh, doing this with one finger is difficult. Might work. Uh, not really. 
I started to peel it off and as you can see if you carefully work your way upward then you might actually get it off okay here we go this was uh, not so easy so I'm just gonna put this into the container again So and this one is the other plant now with a smooth uh, lower surface and I hope that it's easier to peel off here without damaging the leaf. Ah, look at this. Very easy. It's a little bit out of focus. Look at this. Very easy to remove. Okay. And this one here as well. Yeah, so getting this one off was also not so easy. Uh, I'm again holding uh, the camera with uh, one hand and I'm doing this now with my left hand. Um, so general advice, uh, when you uh, do this for the first time, maybe um, choose leaves that are very smooth. And this is pretty self-explanatory. I simply uh, placed uh, the samples uh, on a slide. No cover glass, uh, no mounting medium. And this is basically what I see here. This is using the low power 4x uh, objective and that is uh, the monocot plant. Uh, that is the second one, the one that was so easy to remove. Um, next higher magnification and now we can already see the uh, stomata, the stoma quite well. Um, and uh, what I'm doing right now is, is uh, I'm just scanning the slide a little bit. Um, and if you focus uh, back and forth using the fine focus knob, uh, then uh, you can also see uh, right now, okay, uh, there is a certain focus where you can actually see uh, the impression of the cells the best. So again, for those of you who uh, basically just wonder, this is basically, these are not, these are just the, impre the surface impressions of the cells of a leaf, okay? So this is the reason why we're not seeing um, any chloroplasts or anything like that, because actually I'm just uh, looking at the, yeah, the, the surface texture of, of, of the leaf. And uh, this uh, shows that uh, the individual cells, uh, they basically, uh, when they're on the surface, they're not uh, entirely smooth, but they do project uh, outwards a little bit. And this is uh, something that we can actually see. So that is now uh, the, the last uh, plant, the last flower, this, which one, uh, the one that was so difficult to remove. This is again using the 4X low power objective. Um, I'm trying to find the correct uh, exposure now and that is now the 10 times magnifying objective and one of the things that you might wonder is is, is why are parts of it out of focus and the reason is is because it's not flat okay it, uh, it's uh, not pressed flat uh, it's uh, without any uh, cover glass on top and this means that there is only a small narrow region in the center which is actually in focus um, right now you can see the left and the right uh, they are out of focus because the sample is slanted okay so this is basically uh, where I'm uh, where we have some area of improvement so maybe there is somehow a way to get uh, the glue um, a little bit flat on the slide but uh, in this case this is not uh, so so I'm basically yeah just looking um, at the part uh, in the center yeah and here you can already see one of those openings um, and you can see that yeah, the different plants uh, seem to have different uh, sizes and shapes of these uh, um, stomata. So this is actually also quite an interesting uh, way um, to distinguish the plants. I'm playing around again here with uh, the, the condenser diaphragm. Okay, so yeah, but now you can actually see that it's uh, quite uh, quite easily visible. So, and then the next one, then this, uh, this sample here, this is now the sunflower um, under low power. It does look a little bit messy, um, and the reason is, is because uh, the surface um, of the sunflower is not smooth. As we've seen, it was the most difficult one um, to actually to, to peel the glue off. Um, and uh, yeah, but um, we now have to zoom in a little bit, and I don't know, if you look careful, you can actually already see some of these uh, structures. Um, but still, um, it is a little bit messy because um, it has a very rough uh, surface. And uh, this means that I have to zoom in a little bit more. I have to use a higher magnification, like now. And now we can actually already start to see them 
uh, quite well. It would be actually kind of interesting to uh, uh, to see how the shape is different during the night and the day because uh, as I mentioned already at the beginning they do open and close so maybe this is also something that you can actually uh, capture. That would be quite uh, quite interesting. Yeah? And uh, also interesting to see that they are actually not uh, arranged nicely in rows just like in the first one that I've uh, shown you but actually this one is a little bit more chaotic. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, yet a higher magnification. I think this uh, is now the 40 times magnifying objective if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, the resolution is already going lower because I'm still not using a cover glass and no mounting medium. And these objectives actually they kind of expect uh, a cover glass and mounting medium to work at an optimum uh, resolution. But I'm not uh, giving this, uh, I'm not, I'm, I don't have this. Yeah, so that's why it's a little bit, uh, um, yeah blurry and this is now the 60 times magnifying objective and now we can actually see the, the openings quite well um, but also it's uh, quite uh, quite blurry because uh, of the lack of resolution okay so um, yeah it works I'm, I'm quite uh, quite happy and satisfied with that and it's a simple and easy project well what shall I say it was successful I'm satisfied uh, and I think uh, it makes a very good uh, project uh, also for schools um, and uh, for education so what can we do now from now on well let's go out and let's uh, try to apply some glue to the different plant types and let's see how the surface of the leaves looks like I think uh, that's gonna keep us quite busy for the next couple of months wish you all the best uh, and have a nice day and as always happy micro hunting bye bye